Okay, here's the beast. Uh, don't see me running too bad. Still running lean though. But not bad. Maybe with doghouse on, enough heat will run better. Then I'm gonna run. Of course, we're sitting right next to a motor. Let me open right here. It feels funny right here. I can get past that. It opens up. Now this was running rich with the other jets. I put these jets in to make it run leaner. <laughs> now it's like I want to drill some out. I think it's running way too lean. Those jets there, 59s, they're way too lean. But it's still juicy. Bigger okay, I guess you figured out what this is. This is the carburetor off the van again, apart. I'm gonna play with it, see if I can find something wrong with it, because it's still lean right off the throttle. Okay, I'm looking inside these jets now, and you can see it. Oh yeah, I can see it. Okay, right down inside the hole there. Let's see if it's getting lighter now. Right down, the right about in the middle of that hole. But that's about the same as it is here. What's behind there? My problem is not here, I don't think. This is the power valve. This whole chamber in here uh, is the power valve's vacuum. When there's vacuum on it, it doesn't dump gas as much. That's this hole. Now I'll put this on this way. That does go across the bottom. That is this one. It goes through a hole here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see what I'm going to do this. But right down here is a hole. My thumb. Let me open this throttle up. Now it goes through. But that doesn't have vacuum on it, does it? I don't think it has vacuum on it. Apparently it's getting its vacuum up here to here. Let me see. So here again. This is driving me crazy, you can see that, right? There's nothing up here. Well, then it goes to here, I guess. I guess it's getting its vacuum through this. Oh, this hole here, vent. So when you open it all up, it's venting. Venting? I have to think about this. Folks, I think I just found something. This is one side. I don't know what these two, again, I'm not showing you what I'm poking at. I don't know what these two do. I'm going to go down too far. I'm going to follow these galleys where they go. But I just pulled, where am I? This, out of this one. And I know it's something related to the jets. And I, I guess my blowing with the uh, gum out isn't helping much. I think it's a piece of gasket. Okay, I found another discovery here on a bottom carburetor. This here pinhole, my thumb, also goes up into this here power valve chamber. Boy, it's fucking down here on the left. You're not gonna be able to see that, but it's right down there. I stick a wire through. You can see it poking through there. And then this side... Wherever it's at, is it there? No. Right there. 
this side here, that's the vent. When I open the throttle up all the way, it breathes it out through this. That's when the power valve dumps and uh, opens up. But you got to open it up all the way for that to happen. I mean, even if you're half open, if there's a good vacuum, that power valve is not going to open. That's only full throttle operation only. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to start putting this back together again. One thing, I don't know if it does any good. A new gasket here. Let's see, I got my Vaseline here. I'm going to put Vaseline on this gasket with the thought that it's going to become part again. I don't want to tear it up. I think Vaseline might help. So we'll see how it goes. I think, I think since they did find something, I think this might be better now. We'll see. Okay, now I'm jerking with something with a choke kick or a choke pull off. Um, this is the piston. And you can see there's a pin down there. It's going to keep me from pulling that sucker out. I'm going to knock that pin out. This sucker was moving before. Now it's pretty tight. I don't, I, I don't know. Is that supposed to move freely or not? I think so, but it's not. So I'm going to clean that out. We'll see what happens. Okay, I finally got this piston out. Let's see, I'm not focusing on it, am I? I like this. <laughs> I don't know. I like this. There we go. Look at this, how badly scored that is. I'm going to sand it down a little bit. Got some fine paper. Clean the hole out. I mean, that's not looking too bad in there. Let me see down in there. And see how it works, because that was definitely sticking. Okay, folks, this is going to look like this. Hello? There we go. Now that got pretty clean, I think. Got the scores at it. I use like 600 grit here. That's 400. Let's see how it slides in that piston. Put some Vaseline on that too, you know what I mean? I want you to see his action now. Put the camera on my knee. Let's shade the difference. See the piston inside there? <laughs> Let me get a different angle. See it? It fouls it right up and down now. I think that's the way it's supposed to be though. This falls in rain nice and easy. Okay, there it is. I didn't have this range before. Okay, finally, final stages of reassembly again. Got a, I'm going to use my new gasket there. The EDR plate gasket. It still looks like shit. I'm going to put this on, and if everything goes well, God wills, it won't leak, and it'll work. We'll see what happens. Let's see what I just forgot. I just found that going back to get the chair. So now i got to take that back off. Okay. Just got it back together again. Got the little clip on. I got the gas lines on. Vacuum hoses. I think one of the front's on. Let me look. Gas line is tight. I'll sit in the truck, crank it up. I'll crank a little bit. The sucker was burning again. That should be alright again. I gotta do something else with that. Smaller. What I really need is smaller um, holes in this here cable. That one's corroding again. Look at that. Let's see how it's going. Okay, you ready for some cranking? And we will do some cranking and watching for leaks. 